A community knows no bounds when the citizens are inspired to create. Imagine Martin on TV with hosts Jeff Sauer and Alexandra Herney. Good morning and welcome to Imagine Martin on TV. This is Jeff Sauer, loan officer with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. And here is my co-host... Al Herney, artist and co-owner of Fairmont Brewing Company. How are you doing today, Al? Doing great. Over the next year, we'll be sharing interviews with local artists, musicians, and people that have really interesting collections or hobbies. And we'll also be presenting stories about what's happening at our art venues, um, the activities and or events that will be going um, on in Martin County. That's awesome. And, and I don't know if everybody knows what Imagine Martin is. And so we are an organization, a nonprofit that has um, the mission of helping people and organizations and promote business and artists throughout our community. We interrupt this program to share with you the organizations that have made Imagine Martin's Community Information Hub a reality. Martin County Economic Development. American Legion, Lee C. Prentice Post 36. Martin County Pork Producers, Central Farm Services, Martin County Historical Society, Kim Chris Exit Realty, Fairmont National Agency Incorporated. Join us in thanking each of them. Now we return to our program. I was lucky enough to be part of the group. I was one of 24 of the artists commissioned to do the hog statues that you guys see all around Martin County. That's amazing. Um, could you share with us how Going Hog Wild in Martin County got started in the first place? Sure, absolutely. It's on our website, so I'm going to actually read you exactly what it is here. Going Hog Wild is a concept created by a group of citizens originally focused on the revitalization of downtown Fairmont. The concept was to have multiple concrete hog statues downtown as attractions for tourists and visitors. Each would spotlight a business and organization as well as recognizing the accomplishments of the pork industry in our county. After hearing about the concept, businesses and organizations from throughout Martin County began to ask if they could be included. So Imagine Martin expanded their project to include businesses and organizations throughout our county. After applying and receiving grants from the Prairie Lakes Regional Arts Council, Martin County Area Foundation, and the Schmeckel Foundation, and collaborating with Martin County EDA, Visit Fairmont, Fairmont Opera House, Red Rock Center, and Project 1590, just to name a few, Going Hog Wild has placed over 100 concrete hog statues throughout the county. Wow, now that's a team project. If you go to the website, you can see all the media coverage that Going Hog Wild project has received. There's local and regional newspaper articles, several magazine features, and television and radio stories done by the Linder Farm Network, KEYC News, KSTP Minnesota Live, WCCO Finding Minnesota, and CBS National News. National News, Jeff. Did you hear wow, that? Wow, <laughs> National News. Yeah. I would say that puts Martin County on the map. Yeah. I know you had a major part of that. Can you tell us a little bit about your art? Yeah. So I got involved with Going Hog Wild um, project when I saw a call for art online and I applied. And I've painted like 14 hogs now, but I'm one of 24 artists that have painted all these hogs in Martin County. That's awesome. How did you get into art to start with? Um, well, ever since I was little, I've always been interested in drawing, painting, all sorts of art activities, and I've had great mentors growing up um, to look up to, and I went to school in Sioux Falls at Augustana College and have my arts degree. Currently, I've been working on a lot of commissioned portraits, pet portraits, um, people portraits, drawing, painting. I like to use pen and ink a lot when I do drawings. Um, yeah, and I've been working on local murals in the community. I just finished up a mural at the History Museum, actually. Awesome. That was a pretty fun project, and it was really big. And I'm also a board member on the Imagine Martin Mural Committee. Wow, that's an amazing amount of experience that you have. Thanks. Can you tell us a little bit more about the artist with Hogwild? Well, like I said earlier, I'm just one of 24 artists that were um, commissioned to paint these hog statues. We've had artists 
all different age ranges and all different art backgrounds. Um, people that do art full time, people that it's more of a hobby or a craft that they do on occasion. And two very special people that helped with the whole project is Nancy Katzer and Ashley Jensen Hakey. And we had a chance to sit down and interview them on what we like to call Artful Conversations. I got involved in art was when I was in grade school, like third or fourth grade, I entered a contest for fire prevention week to design a poster for fire prevention. And my city is, is huge, Gary, Indiana. And I won first place and I was just shocked. I know, I was so excited and I was so happy. I thought, oh, so I started loving art after that. I just kept doing it and kept doing it. After I won that contest, I just felt validated. Yeah, the yeah. confidence that you're yeah, an artist. Really good. So that was my, my Your entry into yeah, art. Into art, winning the contest. Well, I did not win any contests as a child, but I just have always loved art and making things and doodling and writing on my bedroom walls. And I mean, I did all the things you're not supposed to do with art, but now I've honed it into a more successful, appropriate art. And I just love it. Well, I think one of my favorite types of art is just crafting. I love trying new things, making new things, hot gluing, wood burning, Ooh, fun. Uh, doodling, painting. I love it all. So what's your favorite? Um, my favorite is acrylic painting. Um, I like that the best. I used to do oils, but the chemicals started bothering me. So I switched to acrylic and now I feel pretty comfortable doing that. So I like doing that. So what are you working on now? Well, right now, I would say my crafting has come to a halt because I started teaching full-time at the elementary school. So I see 900 kids a week, and um, maybe you can tell we're in my classroom right now, and there's just kid art everywhere. So okay. kid art is my new favorite kind of art. Well, good. That's yeah. good. What about you? What projects are you doing? Um, well, I'm actually doing a little tiny painting right now, but um, but I like to do mostly landscapes. I like nature. I love all kinds of nature, so I like to paint that. Um, and then one project I did that I was really happy about. I also like doing murals. Oh, so small and big. Yeah, small and big. Um, I did the mural for the Red Rock Center on 4th and Downtown yeah, Plaza. it's beautiful. And, oh, thank you. And that was um, community-based, and I liked that because a lot of community members came out and helped paint it, and it was fun. The people just enjoyed it, had a great time, and so it was a wonderful experience. Well, Nancy, will you tell everybody how you got involved with Going Hog Wild? Sure. Um, I got involved with Going Hog Wild at the very, very beginning, even before it started. I was talking to Jeff one day, and he was telling me his idea about, I'd like to get all these pigs and have businesses buy them and put them all through the county for tourism, these statues. And I thought, what a great idea. This is a great idea for tourism. And so then Jeff said, well, I'm going to just buy a hog statue and then have someone paint it. So that way all the businesses can see what it looks like. I says, that's a great idea. And he says, would you like to paint it? I'm like, <laughs> okay, sure, I'll do it, you know? And I did, so I painted the first one and very I loved one. it. Very first one. And I was hooked. So how did you get started? Well, I saw that you had started painting them and it, there was an article in the paper and it said, calling all artists, looking for more painters to paint pigs. And, like seven different people sent it to me and they're like, you've got to do this. You love painting, you love drawing. And so I signed up. I think I emailed Jeff and showed him some examples and he was like, you're hired. Let's go. Well, yeah, we're so fortunate so, you joined on board. It yeah, great. it was fun. So what would you say, like if you had to talk about a couple of pigs, what are some of your favorites? Well, about all the pigs in general, I will say the hardest thing for me was taking a two dimensional design and transfer it into a three-dimensional object. I thought that would be really easy and it was uh, very challenging as you're going around the big humps of the pigs and, right. and the ins and outs and it's not just, you know, Yeah, it's not straight. just flat like a no. canvas. So transferring all that to a three-dimensional object was very challenging but very fun. And it kind of got you thinking about how you could do everything. You found little nuances of where you could add little things and that was kind of fun sure. to do. Um, another thing I found challenging was if I had to glue something on the pig, you had it's got to be outdoors. It's got to be stay all the time. It's got to be resistant to light and um, yeah, so, so many factors to think about. Yeah, so all that had to come into play of how to glue things on the pig, which I always thought. 
kind of added something to it too. So what would be an example of something that you had to do? Uh, the crown for Borkhart Dance Company's pig. I drew the crown and then another one that hasn't been revealed yet. I glued some things on that one and it was challenging but did a lot of research and kind of got it figured out. So. Right and I think it adds to the overall look. Yeah. You know so it's not just a flat painting on top of something. It's three-dimensional and I think when the community sees it like like your board cart when you said the tutu on it. Like my kids yeah. love seeing that yeah. one. They're like, oh, there's the tutu pig. Yeah. So it's fun to see that kind of extra stuff that the pigs have to. What were some of your favorite pigs? Oh, I do a lot of pigs and it's hard to just pick a favorite. Yeah, you know, it's the one you're doing currently is like, oh, this is the best one. This is my best design. Um, I did a glass tile one. So that was yeah. kind of challenging for me. That was the only Very one that wasn't painted and I mosaic these glass tiles on the full surround of the pig. So that took a lot of research and making that look beautiful. Was it hard to go around all the curved areas with oh, the mosaic? Definitely. Curved, I probably, my first tiling job probably should have just been flat square. So starting <laughs> with this, you know, 300 pound <laughs> hawk probably um, wasn't where I should start, but I think it looks good. Oh, it looks great. And um, that one was really fun. But a lot of the painting ones, each business kind of had their own idea. Yeah. So that was fun to take what they wanted and kind of add my own artistic flair to it. And they all look a little different, but I think you can tell, you know, like which artist did which. So they kind of have our signature on them without you know, yeah. being specific. Um, one thing I really enjoyed about the Going Home Wild project, which is um, getting to work with the businesses. I thought instead of just doing just strictly what you wanted to do on the pig, working with them to come up with a design for their pig was really fun. It was a very fun thing to do. Um, the businesses were excited. They were so enthusiastic and, and so happy to work with their yeah, pigs. Yeah, and then proud that this was yeah. you know, standing in front of their business or downtown. Right. It was a good representation of what they provide to us. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, the highlight of this whole project that's so different than other cities that did you know, statues that people painted. Ours was different because we worked with the businesses and they represent the business. And I think that sets us apart from all the other towns in the whole country. Right. And right. I like that part of it is, is having the, it's being very business oriented. Definitely. Anything else you want to add about? No, it was a great project and it was fun. And Yeah, um, we're just wrapping it up. The last few pigs yeah. will be unveiled soon yeah. and we'll have a hundred pigs, right? Yeah, yeah. 102. 102. 102. Oh man, we're still birthing pigs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look forward to see those last ones. Well, it's a little known fact that we are two thirds of the Going Hog Wild right. committee. Yes. How did that happen? Well, um, when I was working with Jeff, when they started doing all the hogs and businesses started signing up and things were happening, artists would sign up to paint if we had all these artists signed up. And then I told Jeff, I said, somebody's got to tell the artist how to paint these statues because it's a little different than just painting a painting. And he said, oh, good. You'll be on the committee. Then you can tell the artists, you know, how, how to, and work with them. I said, okay, I'll take care of answering artist questions mm -hmm. and work with them to tell them, you know, this is what you need to do to get this to work and stuff like that in the sealer and everything. And then we realized we needed more help. It started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more people wanted pigs and it just got to be yeah, so The project much. was growing. It was growing. So then I asked you if mm -hmm. you want to be on Going Hall Walk because you seem very community minded. She was a great painter and... I thought Ashley would be perfect. And then we didn't realize this. You had such great computer skills. That really helped too. You did become the computer yes, person. Spreadsheets. Yeah, I like being organized and making sure people were slotted for when they were going to paint and yeah, the and, schedules. And, and how to contact the artists and, and contact for them for their businesses they needed. And you had all that on spreadsheets, which I don't know how to do. And it just took a little bit of pressure off Jeff. So that was great having you come on board with all of that, you know. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't realize how much goes on behind the scenes. You know, they just see the grand unveilings and the sponsors and all the businesses. But there's a lot of hard work that you and Jeff being the business mind behind it and our fundraiser. And he dealt with all the, um, the business side of it. So we could just be creative and work with the artists. And right, and just, just getting the hogs in the warehouse to paint and then get them out oh, of the Oh, the transportation. I mean, yeah. Jim and his crew and all the stickers and all the labels and sharing. I mean, there were so many hands involved in this that you don't realize and being part of the committee, yeah. you know, we're just trying to get all our ducks in a row and, or pigs in a row, I guess I should say. Yes. It was, it was great having you on board just for um, yeah, just another hand up. 
to just help get this all going. It was just great because it was just, it just grew, grew and grew and, you know. Right. And speaking of growing, now it's a nonprofit. Now it's right. oozing into murals and other community projects and music and all the arts. So it's, it's fun to see how it just started with one little pig and one little idea. And now it's countywide. And right. Now it's awesome. grown to create a nonprofit, Magic Martin, because we realized that going home well, we realized that after the pigs are all done, we still want to keep doing art. And there's a ton of things we can be doing in Martin County. And so it evolved into the nonprofit Imagine Martin, which is great. And um, now we're just going to keep it going, keep the art happening in Martin County. And I think that's wonderful that it's it's coming. Yeah. We're going to be known for art. I yes, know. yes. Yeah, so exciting. Wow, two incredible artists. They helped so much. Going hog wild in Martin County would have never happened without their help. Thank you guys so much. Al, there is some amazingly art talented artists in Martin County. Yeah. We have got the opportunity to hear about their abilities and different things through interviews with us. And we're excited to share those with you. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about the Going Hog Wild project in Martin County. And stay tuned um, for another Imagine Martin on TV where we, you know, share stories with artists who are inspired to create. We'll see you next time on Imagine, Imagine Martin, Martin on, on TV. TV.